know, a herniated disc. Obviously, it's difficult for me because I'm, if it is, you know, SPA, that's like a whole other ball game causing low back pain. But is there anything that, um, other things that maybe doctors don't tend to think of and they tend to just like the herniated disc story that something like this could be or likely is? Yeah, so it's a really, really good question. So when I work with patients in similar situations to you where someone has back pain, they get an MRI, there's a disc bulge, sometimes they'll say, oh yeah, this is causing your pain, or sometimes they'll say, well, no, it's really minor, so it shouldn't be causing your pain. The, the big things that I see that get missed are the clunial nerves. So the superior clunial nerve and the middle clunial nerve are two nerves that are in the low back that are not the same nerves that like form your sciatic nerve. These are actually what are called peripheral cutaneous nerves. So they're nerves that are out towards the skin that are how we actually perceive sensations on the skin. And so they can obviously transmit these signals that our brain associates with pain. Uh, that's one of them. And then sacroiliac joint dysfunction uh, is another one commonly gets uh, kind of overlooked in the uh, in conventional care system. And, and actually what's interesting is both of those can actually refer pain down the leg. And so right. some people might come in and even say, oh, I've got sciatica and we treat their SI joint or we treat their clunial nerves and their quote unquote sciatica goes away because it was never actually sciatica in the first place. It was right. just pain that went down the leg that other people lumped in as sciatica. And I, and I don't know if that's your case with your radiating right. leg pain or not because I would have to do that physical exam. But your story is a very common story that I hear in the patients I work with, which is, hey, I was diagnosed with this. This is my pain. It's not getting better with the treatments. Based on those diagnoses, what else is there? Usually the things that come up most commonly are the clunial nerves and the sacroiliac joint. Right. 